This budget <coughs> proposes a $1 per ton increase in the tipping fee on municipal waste landfill deposits, um, expected to, I think, generate about $22 million to replace funding for the Hazardous Sites Cleanup Fund, which we spoke about very briefly before. One of the things that, in an area of very high cost of living, my colleagues, I'm always talking about our school property tax bill and that level of how high that is in the Pocono region. So with that, I'm always looking at the other bills that are in a household for constituents, uh, what we're doing on a budget level, what we're doing on a policy level that could affect those bills. Mm -hmm. From what my research has shown me, it appears that one third of the cost of trash, a uh, trash bill is really for disposal fees. And my concern is the additional, this, this request for this increase, uh, the tipping fee on that effect that it could have on a trash bill, which is, you know, another bill that is of concern in my area. Um, what are your thoughts first on that piece of it? And I, and I find concern with a few things that I might continue to ask you as we move forward, that the initial primary revenue source for this was the capital stock and franchise tax, which was phased out back in 2015-16. So I'm curious as why we really didn't address it also until now. Sure. No, thank you for all that. And, and to take the last piece uh, first, I'll say um, there was really uh, two pieces. One, I mean, and, and to be candid, I think I've raised this every year uh, uh, as uh, an issue that uh, we were going to have to deal with. We had uh, uh, two dynamics going on within the fund, which has now created the issue today. One is the, the $40 million going away but there were tailing revenues that kept coming in and frankly still come in on capital stock and franchise tax uh, that continue to provide resources. And then there's also uh, tw about $20 million in transfer that now come out of uh, Act 13 dollars. So um, we had a scenario where, where we were normally getting 40. We had a year where we got 60. Um, and we had a balance, so we've been spending that down. The situation we're in now is um, if you look at our, our uh, uh, budget, we'll end this year with about $20 million, but we'll get about $20 million from Act 13 in around the May time period. So we're going to become pretty cash constrained this year. Um, this is funding for programs that um, I, I think everybody agrees are, are absolutely necessary. It's our hazardous waste um, uh, oversight program. It's uh, our match for federal Superfund. It's the state's version of Superfund and cleanup, uh, which in and of itself is about $26 million a year, uh, as well as the Brownfields uh, support, the Act Two voluntary programs, and, and a couple of other grants. I'll, I'll say candidly, I think the dollar uh, is uh, an appropriate way to do that. We haven't seen an increase in tipping fees uh, since, I think, 2004 with uh, Growing Greener 2. Um, and, and certainly inflation would have driven that up further. Uh, I think on the eastern part of the state, your tipping fees are well over $100. Uh, so that, that is in particular a driver, which also leads to the dollar being a relatively small portion of that. All of that said, I think uh, we are, are interested in making sure that the programs continue. And the way I often describe these programs is not just as program dollars, but insurance dollars. They're what allow us to make immediate decisions to go out and address uh, some big fairly capital intensive projects. So right. making sure that funding is available, particularly as we start to look at PFAS and, and uh, emerging contaminants is, is the most important part. And if there's other ways of funding that, I think we're all ears. So the, um, and I agree with you that, that it is an important fund to have. Um, so I'm hearing from you that about 40 million would be expected as of this year to be your base, um, the 20 million and then the 20 million. Um, the, the other piece that I always think when we try to stay away from anything new, as Representative Allett stated, you know, a fee or an increase can then generate, and, and I always look at how it, how it comes down to the people, 
and their expectations of us to utilize what we already have before we do something new. And um, I know it was mentioned a little earlier about the recycling fund and a different conversation that we're having this year, but that's a pretty hefty, strong fund. And we have dollars there, we have utilized them before. Have you considered uh, using those funds um, rather than going to this uh, tipping fee and kind of increasing it this way? We haven't, and, and honestly, this, it's, it's all, in, <coughs> I'll admit, um, the way the, the recycling fund in particular gets shown uh, is something that we keep trying to figure out some better way to show it in terms of the treasury report. The reality is within that fund are buried commitments that don't show up within the fund. Um, so what looks like a healthy balance is more like less than 20 million today in terms of uncommitted dollars. And that's to fund the next round of those uh, supports for municipalities. So just- I know, thank you, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Secretary. I know that's we're out of time, but if you could give us any more details on that mm -hmm. fund, that would be greatly appreciated. And I think that we do owe that to the people before we move forward with anything Absolutely. else. Thank you thank so you. much.